So we've got a fun new project that we're going to be doing on this uh, channel here. This is a 1,200 watt um, grid tie inverter. And uh, if you don't know what these are, uh, basically you put a cord end on the, on the end of this here and you plug it into the outlet. And what's going to happen is uh, grid power it comes into the grid tie inverter. And then these leads here, you hook up, um, or not leads, rather um, connectors here, you hook up to a DC power source. So then you take the DC power source, which this one has an input of 74 or 72 volts, and basically it'll convert it into AC, and then it's going to pump it back into the grid. So the idea here is to take this old little uh, three horsepower diesel engine and um, put an, a car alternator on it that has been modified to produce um, over 70 volts AC. And I will be making a video on how to do that, but basically you take the car alternator and you take the diode pack out of it and you rewire the um, the alternator to just run straight through and, and not going through any sort of rectifier or anything. Uh, basically you rewire it so that it punch. You will see in previous videos showing that I have actually run this engine off of um, diesel, uh, motor oil, used motor oil, transmission fluid, baby oil, I mean, you name it. I also have a TikTok that shows um, this very engine running on all of that stuff. And guys, this thing has been through hell and back, and I have not blown it up. So what I'd like to do is do a longevity test and um, have the alternator hooked up to this. This does have a um, unique size shaft, so I'm just gonna have to 3D print a pulley for it um, and then cast it in aluminum. So uh, once that's done, then I can go ahead and, uh, you know, I don't want to spend the money on producing a, uh, a pulley or buying a pulley, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make one. But I have been dying to pull this bad boy out. That's a kiln or a furnace back there, so um, I'm going to be able to melt my own aluminum down and produce my own parts. So uh, printing with PLA and melting it down to produce, um, you know, from plastic to metal. So if any of you have watched this all the way through, <laughs> I applaud you. I'm new to YouTube. I'm used to being on TikTok. I'm not used to the whole landscape thing. So if I keep looking off to the side, you know, I'm filming on my Samsung phone sideways. So you know, I have to look directly at the camera, which is over there, but, but guys, I'm a newly developing channel. If you guys want to see this project and keep up with all that, um, please like, and subscribe. That's so weird to say, because usually I'm, I'm used to saying, Hey guys, follow me, you know, on TikTok, whatever. But of course with the band, I'm trying to convert on over. So, but guys, I have a lot of, uh, potential goodies on this channel that I will be sharing that I haven't shared on TikTok. So stick with me follow me subscribe or whatever it is um i would love to have you as an audience and always 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 open to constructive criticism so thank you guys for your time if you watched all the way through thank you so much i appreciate it um and you helping me grow this channel basically in a nutshell you'll take apart the alternator and you take off the diode bridge and you essentially just bypass that but you have to rewire the alternator to produce pure alternating current um, that's a uh, high voltage. So, uh, if you bypass all of that and you rewire it a certain way, you can actually produce well over 120 volts just from the car alternator. And obviously that's why they call it an alternator because it creates alternating current. So it has its field coils and then it's got an armature and that armature will have copper windings in it. So when you energize the field coil and you spin the, um, the center core or the armature, it's going to produce AC voltage. So the idea is to take that direct hookup um, alternator straight into a external diode uh, rectifier system that, per that converts it from 72 volts AC to 72 volts DC. Well, I, you know, I take that back. It's not going to be quite 72 volts, so I'd have to put it in through a converter uh, or if I can figure out exactly how to get it down to the, um, the proper voltage by setting the RPMs correctly uh, based on the pulley size and the engine RPM. But anyway, when all that's done, uh, we're basically going to run this uh, generator or alternator generator off of waste motor oil, and it's just going to run endlessly producing power to feed the grid.